I went to this hypnosis seminar a few years ago, and you gotta know, you meet some really strange people at these hypnosis seminars. People that want to know how to hypnotize people so you can get them to do things, so you can have fun with people, so you can have fun blurring people's minds at parties, which isn't really that difficult because most people's minds are blurred anyhow. And blurring minds can make it easy to lead decisions. And once you know how to lead decisions, you can lead them all the way back to your place. One guy said he wanted to learn how to hypnotize people because of this guy he saw at the park. At first, he didn't really understand what was going on here. This guy would juggle things, but he would also tell stories while he was juggling things. But as you were watching this guy juggle things, you would feel completely compelled to give this guy some money. And even though you couldn't really follow the stories this guy was telling, you would just watch people come up and put some money into his tip hat. So he waited until he finished so he could figure out what the deal was. And he said he was using some kind of storytelling hypnosis while he was juggling so that it would enhance the viewer's experience. So while you were watching this, you would feel compelled to put a couple of dollars into the tip jar or the tip hat or the tip box or whatever tip container was holding the continuously growing pile of money on the ground. He told him that he used to be a high level executive at a high level company until he just had enough. That's when he first learned how to juggle and then he learned how to hypnotize people while he was juggling. And it was after he learned how to hypnotize people that life became much more enjoyable that after you learn how to hypnotize people, conversations are a lot more fun. That after you learn how to hypnotize people, you can install inside people any kind of emotional state that you want. Maybe you'll become a juggler in the park. Maybe you'll learn how to hypnotize people to put a lot of money inside of your tip hat. Or maybe not. Maybe you'll want to hypnotize people so they will fall in love with you, which is a pretty good idea if you happen to suck at juggling. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com.